To configure your GPS receiver to NTRIP, you need to enter the GNSS tile and select Edit. Once in the GNSS setup, select your correction source to center point VRS. You will need to ensure that you have a high accuracy license for this option to be selectable. It is always recommended to turn XFIL on. For further information on XFIL, please refer to the RTK radio setup section. Press the Setup tab to continue setting up VRS. In the setup, you will enter in a server name, this is the IP address of the base station, a port and mount point which will be provided to you by a service provider. You will also have a unique username and password which will allow you access into their server. With the correct information entered into these fields, press and save the exit button. You can view correction status in the GNSS performance tab under Diagnostics. Here you will view status items such as whether the modem is connected to the display and whether that modem is connected to the server. Once a connection is established, you should see correction age of 1 to 2 seconds and information regarding that base. When using the supported modems with the XCN displays, no license is required other than the high accuracy to use VRS. However, if you want to use a third party modem or a hotspot from a mobile phone, you will require the NTRIP via Wi-Fi license. If running a base station and the NTRIP caster, or under a VRS network, a full demo license and a customer's mobile phone is a perfect way to demonstrate the RTK benefits. With a full demo license installed on the displays, or the correct NTRIP over Wi-Fi license, you need to configure the modem services to use this feature. To do this, enter the apps tray, then select modem services. Within modem services, turn on the VRS modem correction source. 